Okay, uh, kita sambung lagi um, tajuk kita anaps. Okay, so uh, I divide into two uh, definitions, uh, conceptual and operational. So anaps conceptual still uh, same with the uh, arrow because uh, this is essence of life. Because we understand that. Uh, Anaps, eh, part of the soul. Okay, it is a psychic uh, jiva or jiva in Sanskrit. Eh? Jiva, jiva in Sanskrit uh, language. Uh, jiva, jiva, bahasa Melayu in in Malay. Okay, but it's still essence of life. It is a uh, uh, important things uh, in in our life in our human human body okay and in operational definition we could say that anaps is a, a, a human soul okay there's, there's the spiritual element in human okay or sometimes is uh, it can define as a human self eh? our self diri eh? which is associated with the body eh? uh, when we refer to our self Eh, meaning that we are refer to our 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 human body as diri saya myself okay myself okay uh, this is a definition uh, given by uh, Carzon uh, he said that uh, it is something internal in the entity of a human who exact nature cannot perceive it is to accept direction towards good and evil it is combined together a number of human attributes and characteristic that have a clear effect on human behavior okay according to this definition we can conclude that um, anaps is something that in ourself okay it is this entity that uh, is a nature uh, which is cannot be perceived and is ready to accept any direction which is a good or evil eh, direction from from us and eh, from ourselves from our uh, emotion thinking believing okay in uh, it, it is combined together a number of attributes and eh, maybe it is a great characteristic eh, that effect on human behavior ok, maknanya apa anaps ni ialah uh, diri kita yang sebenar eh, yang mana dia uh, disebut sini um, it is ready to accept direction uh, ok, as I mentioned before and many times that actually um, uh, al-ak al-roh, anaps Eh, and alcohol it is same thing in terms of the cannot be perceived and unseen things okay but the difference of these four is uh, only on perspective of function and rule of each other eh? maknanya apa ke, ke, keempat-empat ni semua sama je eh the spiritual element yang kita kata penting lah eh? yang penting kepada manusia tetapi the differentiate between this four is about the apa um, characteristic dia ataupun the function eh? the role ok uh, as an anafs ok uh, it is accept direction towards good and evil ok before this we talk about the role it is a uh, is a function, the main function of rope, giving uh, life to human. Nyawa kan? Nyawa. Okay? And uh, now we talk about uh, anaps. Eh? Anaps is a uh, accept direction. Okay? Mana apa? Uh, diri, uh, one of the element in human that uh, ready to accept any direction from your mind, from your heart, eh? from your desire, for example, okay, any direction, uh, you, we can give 
to ourselves and eh, to do anything which is uh, good or evil, right or wrong, we call it is a nafs. Okay. So in this uh, point, eh, combines together a number of human attributes. Eh, maknanya ciri-ciri manusia, eh, character, the human attributes, the human character combine. Maybe you uh, uh, have a strong uh, motivation. Eh? Maybe you uh, have a positive attitude. Okay, and at the same time you have a bad character, lazy. Okay, uh, like to watch a movie uh, prolong. Eh? Tengok apa movie lama-lama sangat nak kan? Okay. Uh, who can conduct this? Eh, you want to do this? You want to do a good thing? Or you want to do a negative thing? It's yourself. And we name it as a, a nafs. Yang maknanya, uh, awak nak buat baik ke? Nak tidur panjang-panjang ke? You are going to sleep all the day. And we don't do nothing. Okay? <laughs> do nothing. And bangun, makan, solat. And continue your your sleep can is depend on your ability to control actually okay uh, so we we say here is ready to accept any direction uh, eh? the direction name may be good or, or not and then it is combined uh, bad character good character bad attributes good attributes uh, combine and we call it is uh, unnaps Eh? Of course, eh, this character, this attribute will affect to your behavior. Uh, kan, sifat-sifat baik, sifat-sifat buruk ni dia akan memberi uh, kesan, eh, will give uh, a clear effect on your behavior. Uh, okay, is on your ability to control your nafs. Okay, in other words, in bahasa we call nafs ni nafsu lah, eh, keinginan, desires, eh, kemahuan. Eh, kemahuan apa? Nak buat baik. Kemahuan nak buat buruk. Okay. Ha. It is according to uh, Karzon definition. Eh. And uh, many of nafs uh, according to Al-Ghazali. Eh. Al-Ghazali, one of the scholars, Islamic scholars. And uh, he said that uh, there are three meanings to nafs. Okay. Amnas meaning first anger, your anger. Eh, it is your nafs, your desire, eh, kemahuan, your uh, ke your needs, eh, your internal needs, uh, kemahuan dalaman. Okay, kemahuan apa nak makan, nak minum. It is good things, but if you if you don't control your desires to eat, maybe you can eat everything. You may steal your friend uh, stuff eh, in order to fulfill your needs. And, uh, eh. In other words, anafs ni apa? Ke kemahuan lah, eh. Okay, kemahuan maknanya keinginan uh, ataupun bahasa Melayu panggil nafsu lah, kan? Okay, whether the anger, desires ataupun your inner heart, eh. uh, apa yang ada duduk dalam badan kita lah, eh, heart tu apa? Uh, apa kita punya jantung, eh. kita punya hati. Okay, yang duduk dalam tu, yang dia punya dia punya apa dia punya subtle power tadi uh, the strength tu, keinginan, kemahuan ok, uh, marah ok, uh, nafsu desires eh, apalah, eh, jadi maksudnya di sini uh, jelas bahawa Azgal Ghazali kata nafs eh, ialah anger, is it anger desires and your inner heart needs uh, kemahuan dalam diri uh, kemahuan dalam diri seseorang ok 